Hello, I'm Steve G. I normally use the username Brightspark Innovation or Brightspark In, um, and I just thought I'd bring you all up to date with um, the latest stage of my Big Track um, artificial intelligence platform. Um, I haven't actually come up with a decent name for it yet. Uh, yeah, so basically, this is the motor driver circuit that I will be using. Um, and I'll be using the motors that are already in the big track underneath here. Um, so just to make things a little easier, I'm just using these basic motors and gearboxes just to uh, make sure the actual um, thing works. So there's a motor here and a motor here, gearboxes. Both of them go in into either side of this motor driver here. Um, hopefully I can show you a good shot of it so there you go um, it is a dual H-Bridge DC stepper motor drive controller board module Arduino if you look up them terms on eBay you'll be able to find it um, its model number is L298N hash 236 um, yeah, it seems to be doing the job. I've had no overheating problems so far, which is good. And as a microcontroller, I'm using an Arduino Uno loaded with just a modification on the uh, the, the Blink um, software that comes with the uh, IDE. Um, yeah, I've just modified it so it's like a bit of a pulse. Don't know if you can see the uh, LED on pin 13 there. So it's a little bit of pulse, just so that we can see that the, the controller is doing it. Yeah, so, and over here, just using a breadboard just to get all the grounds and lives um, working together. So, this wire here, at the moment, is plugged into pin 13. Runs all the way up here, down to nothing. And then on here... We've got four pins uh, here, running across here. Now, it depends which one of these four pins um, is brought high, controls the direction of the motor. So starting from the left, we've got one and two that control the left motor, and then three and four that control the right motor. So just to emulate uh, you know, decent motor driver software. We're going to pop this on here and bring pin one high. There you go. And those pulses aren't me doing it. That is the motor driver itself. And then if you put it on the second one, it goes the opposite direction. Same over here. A little harder to show you. So we have a good level of, of success there. Um, obviously using a single wire to emulate um, you know, the, the software, um, raising four separate pins to control the motors in four separate directions or two separate directions for each motor isn't the wisest idea at the moment, but I just don't happen to have um, uh, female jumper wires. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm a little bit stuck until you know, I can get something from cool components or whatever. Um, yeah, so it all seems to be working, which is pretty good. I should probably tell you about the power supply. You see a 9-volt battery over there. 9 volts coming in to a common ground over here into the VIN and the ground of the Arduino. So this 9-volt is powering the Arduino, which is also coming out of here, which is the 5 volts out. Running over to here 
into the motor, board, uh, motor controller board. What that's doing, that's basically powering the board, like the board itself. Yeah, so it brings um, like power to all, all, all the uh, oh, where is it? Oh, the hate bridge here, yeah, which is this bad boy here with a decent uh, heat shield on it. Um, so it powers the board, like enables it. And then these four batteries over here come into here, just over here, and then into this side, which when um, a pin is enabled over here on the H bridge, it um, opens one channel up and allows this battery juice to come through here and into the motor that's selected. So this battery pack here is actually what's making the, uh, the motors go around. Um, I think that's everything. So, enjoy.